Hi guys, today I am decluttering my concealers and I also threw in here under eye correctors as well. And so let's just get into this. tried every single thing in this drawer um, obviously I have way too much no one person needs this much but I do love testing things for my channel and face products are one of my favorite things to test so that's why I have so much stuff um, and why I need to get rid of it so let's just start here because these are really easy these are not good for dark circles even though it's called no dark shadows um, but it's like this it's supposed to be like a corrector but it's so light um, but I am going to keep this to see if I can use this up as a highlighting stick, kind of like in place of where you would highlight on your face with foundation. You can sometimes use these type of things. And same with the Dream Lumi from, where's it from? It's like everything's coming off. Um, it's either L'Oreal or Maybelline, I can't remember. But those two I'm going to keep just for that purpose. And if I don't use these up in like the next three months or at least like put a good dent in them, then I will get rid of them. But for now, I'm going to keep them. Let's just talk about all the correctors next. So this I have never used because it's just not the right shade. This is from NYX. It's called Glow. I have no idea why. It is like this really weird beigey orangey shade. Like it's so weird. So I've never used this. I am definitely not going to keep that. So that is going to go. Two that are for sure staying are my absolute favorite one, which is the Naked Skin Corrector in Peach from Urban Decay. And this one, even though I don't love it, it is very good. It's the Benefit Erase Paste, and this is in the shade number two medium. What, what the heck is on my thumb? Um, number two medium, and it is like a kind of like a pot. You can see it looks stippled because I just dipped my brush straight in it. Um, this is just very emollient. That is the only thing I don't love about it, meaning it's very thick and super creamy, almost too creamy. And so it doesn't blend as well as I want it to, but I'm not saying it's bad. It is very good. So I'm still going to keep that. Okay, this one is way too dark. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and it's in the shade, what is it called? Orange Corrector. It's just so dark. This is the kind of corrector you want if you have a dark skin tone. Um, so orange doesn't work for everybody. So you kind of have to have different levels of peach and pink and orange for your right skin tone concerns. So this is going to go. This I absolutely hate. This is from Bare Minerals. It's called a concealer. It is the Eye Brightener in Well Rested. Um, YouTube made me buy this and it's so thick. Like, the granules are so thick. That's what I hated about it the most. Um, I suppose this would be good if you don't have super dark circles that you need to cover and they're just light. But for somebody like me with ultra dark circles, it doesn't work. So I'm getting rid of that for sure. This is kind of weird. This is one of the first concealers I bought from Sephora. The girl tested it on me in the store. I loved the way it worked in the store. And then I could never get it to do or to look how she made it look. And so I did carry this in my purse for a while for just like if I was wearing no makeup and I just wanted to put some on, but I, that never ended up happening. So I haven't used this in over a year. So I guess I'm just gonna get rid of this. So I'm not gonna use it. Oh, this I'm not sure if this would be considered a concealer or a corrector. It's from Bobbi Brown. It's a little, tiny little sample size. Um, it's called Intensive Skin Serum Concealer. This is in the shade Sand 5. And like, that's ultra brightening, but I just don't think it's a good shade match for me. I don't think it's a corrector. It's definitely more of a concealer. It kind of blends away to nothing though. That's kind of weird. Either way, I don't want that. Um, this is the Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade 230 Fair slash Light. I don't love the packaging. You have to squeeze this so hard to get any product to come out, but I do like the product. I don't feel like you get a ton in here. Like it feels like it's almost done, even though I have not used it all that much. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna keep this. I can probably use it up. This is the wrong shade match. This is the next HD concealer in the shade CW06 Glow. Wait a second. Why does that say CJ06 Glow? Okay, I have no idea how NYX does their 
color coding but anyway it's too dark it, it doesn't work for me this I do like I'm pretty close to using this um, this is the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer in the shade light and I do love this a lot definitely keeping that this one I feel like I need to try some more this is from the brand Holika Holika which is a South Korean brand cover and hiding liquid concealer I don't know what the shade is on this um, I kind of picked this blindly because I bought it off of some kind of website I feel like that's a pretty good match maybe just slightly dark but okay it's been a long time since I used this I think I remember liking it I'm gonna put this in maybe for now let's just put that in maybe I know I do not like this this is the bourgeois healthy mix concealer in the shade 51 light radiance um, I know I hated this I cannot exactly remember why it's been a long time I'm pretty sure it just settled into lines and looked like oxidized so I'm just getting rid of that this one I absolutely hate as well which is a shame because it is so full it's um, 20 light the master conceal by face studio from Maybelline this settles into my lines so much it oxidizes powder sits so weirdly on top of it it, it's kind of like when you mix flour and water and you get that clumpiness. It's so gross. So I'm getting rid of that for sure. Same with this. The Maybelline Fit Me in 25 Medium is way too dark on me. Um, I think I want to try this again, but in the right shade. Okay, two of my favorites. The Lancome a Fasterness in... 220 Claire 11. I love this for like no makeup makeup days. It's so good. And then my absolute favorite of all time is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Burr Concealer in 1C Light. I have a full review on this and I will link anything I have full reviews on um, in the description bar, but I have a full review on that. Excellent. Oh, this I feel like I need to try one more time, but I don't think it's the right shade anyway, so I don't know if there's any point. Let's see. It's so thick. Um, I don't know. That shade might be okay. It's a little bit pink, though. The it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer in the shade... This is travel size. I got in an Ipsy. What shade are you? I don't see a shade anywhere on here. Oh, no, it is. Neutral Medium. Um, oh, let's just try to blend it out and see. I feel like that's really pink and kind of too dark. I'm just gonna get rid of that. You know what, I haven't used it in like eight months. Why do I think I'm gonna use it to try it now? I'm not, so let's just get rid of it. almost forgot about this. I'm getting rid of this too. I never use these cards ever. So I'll just pass this on to a friend, but it's the YSL Touche Clot sample, so I'm gonna pass that on. I want to love this so much. It's the Kat Von D Locket, the new one. This is an L11 neutral. The shade match is perfect for me. I love the applicator. I love the way it feels when it goes on. It's very full coverage, very creamy, but it creases so bad. And so I've tried it so many times, so many ways. I thought maybe I could use this up and maybe like purchase a full size, but I do not like this. I want to like it, but I don't, so I have to get rid of it. Same with this. I've tried this 10 ways from Sunday. It does not work for me. This is the NARS, uh, whatever they call it, creamy, creamy something or other in custard. Not only does do I not like the formula, this is too yellow and too dark for my skin. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This one's weird. I bought this because somebody on YouTube said they used it, and this is the Boo Boo Cover Up concealer in the shade I keep thinking this as boob boob okay I don't see a shade again am I just blind you guys or is there no shade I really think there's no shade on this one I bought this off of Amazon I think and I paid a lot for it I paid like 25 bucks or something I mean yeah it's very light too um, this is supposed to be good for like covering up tattoos and like really like scarring and stuff. I think I'm going to keep this just because it's a little bit different than anything else I have. And maybe I might need this for something in the future, like in some kind of, sorry, there's a hair there. I don't know how long that's been there. Um, maybe tutorials or something. I might use this. That's the only reason I'm going to keep it. And maybe that's not the best reason in the world, but it's my reason. So I'm going to do it. I think I'm cutthroat enough where I can do that every once in a while without hearing complaints.
These are both LA Girl Pro Conceal. I actually bought these off the Morphe website and I just picked blindly and these are both wrong shade matches for me. This one is still sealed, but I can tell just by the bottle. It's way too dark. This one's too pink, so these are gonna go. This is natural and this is creamy beige. So both of those are gonna go. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I do love this a lot. I don't use it as much as I should. Um, cause I just, I love this one so much, but I do love this one a lot. So definitely keeping this same with this. This used to be my favorite until I found the Estee Lauder. So this is the naked skin from Urban Decay in the shade light. I do love that a lot too. This one is horrible. This is the Marcel flawless skin fusion concealer. This is a Canadian brand. This is in the shade light to medium. I love the applicator on this. I love the packaging. Like it's so nice. It's got that nice flat on both sides, doe foot, um, but the product is horrible. It just creases, it looks weird with powder. It's so bad. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, this is another Korean brand. I cannot remember ever using this. The same S-A-E-M, Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. I don't see a shade, but uh, I guess that's probably the shade, 1.5. I feel like that's maybe, well, it's okay. No, 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 no. Well, no, <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Uh, you know what, even if it's good, I have enough concealers, I don't need it. This absolutely needs to go away. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and it's in the shade Fair. I used to be the kind of person years ago where I would buy the absolute lightest foundation and concealer even though, I mean, I'm not that fair. I don't know why I would do that. And with circles as dark as mine, this doesn't work anyway because it's so like nothing. Like it just blends away to nothing. So this is a bad concealer regardless of the shade. Um, and the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I know a lot of people like this. It doesn't work for me. I also hate the applicator. Like it's rounded on all sides. Do not like that. And, and so much, like you only get what comes up on the tip which is also annoying. Like I want it to kind of cover every side when it comes out, but it doesn't. I really hate that about that packaging. Um, but yeah, this, it, first of all, that looks a little dark too. But anyway, it just, it doesn't cover my dark circles well enough. I know that, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's just go back to this for a second. Um, I think, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this because I haven't used it in like a year. So I'm just not going to, I'm sure. I'm just gonna end up sticking with my favorites. So there you go. So I'm getting rid of 12 concealers, four travel size slash sample size, three correctors, and I'm keeping eight concealers, two highlighting pens, no wait, that's two, four, six, seven concealers, two highlighting pens, and two color correctors. So I'm getting rid of over half which is awesome. I'm also really get, getting rid of that card um, because now I can actually look at my drawer and not feel guilty and just use stuff that I love. So there you go. I do have a declutter playlist. If you are interested, I will put that in the description bar below where I've decluttered other parts of my collection. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.